Greetings fellow YouTubers, Irv Lindsay here. I am back out in, uh, off of Finley Street, not near, not too far from the old sand school. Uh, been here before, uh, and so I have not had to do this before, but I'm gonna say it, previously on Irv TV. So this church was built uh, in the early 1900s. It was the first German reformed church. But about the time that World War I happened, there was a lot of anti-German sentiment, so they dropped the word German from the name. Look at all these bushes here. Look, look at all this rubbish on the side of the building. Crazy. So, it is a blustery, snowy day, and you can see there's lots of the white, fluffy stuff on the ground. Not really, it's just a light dusting. But we're, today we get to see the inside of this awesome structure, which is being rehabbed. Uh, the owners have invited me to see the inside of it before they completely do their demo, and it's going to be changed into a rock climbing gym one of these days and they've even got their new permit nailed to the door. I always get stories from people when I show stuff like this, talk about, oh my grandparents went to church there. Ah, oh, removable wall. Wow. I'm surprised that's still here and working. That's cool. With a door. Like this one here, it's broken off. That's the yeah. pins are on rollers. And they busted. were in the center of the doors. The old kitchen, guys. Look at that big boarded up window, too. Yeah, we'll open that back up. All right, let's see what's upstairs. So this fell down from up there after we had done our initial clean out. So it was actually hanging on the balcony and we just took that down a few weeks ago. Wow. So this was the sanctuary part. Yep. And all that curved area was gonna come down. All the barrel ceiling, barrel portion of the ceiling. You know, Are you gonna rebuild it? Some vertical and curves in that. We're just gonna get rid of that and have it exposed. So okay, so there's there's rafters behind it then. Yeah, yeah. So were there any pews? No, or? no pews and everything. It's been vacant for so long, most of the stuff got stolen, anything that was very difficult. To, uh, Is this safe to walk there. into? Yep, yep. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm a big guy, folks. I'm always wary of where I step because I easily weigh twice what a normal person does. <laughs> so tell me about these windows or lack thereof. Well, they're going to get covered up, except for uh, you'll be, they'll be visible from the outside. Uh, we'll restore the frames and put just regular glass in them. We'll not have the stained glass. The only windows. Uh, in this main sanctuary area that'll stay are the ones up above the choir loft, these two. Okay, so they'll be visible from the outside. You won't know they've been covered up on the inside. You won't yeah, know they're here from the there. Oh, okay. They'll be covered with the climbing walls. Stabilizing and saving the building so it doesn't fall. So this frame here, is that actually... We put, we put that up a couple days ago. Is that holding anything up or is that no, just... No. Just, that's, just to that's move around and, and do demo on the ceiling. All right. So the old pulpit is still here. Well, you know, I don't know anything about how they worship. That's a lecture. You can keep okay. it down if you like. The pulpit is over here. 
What's the difference between a lectern and a pulpit? Pardon I don't know, me. And I don't even know that those are the right terms, but I think that's a pulpit. A pulpit you stand in, a lectern you stand out. So you can stand in that area there. Yeah, so this is where you, you stand and you, you thump out. Your... All right, guys, all those of you out there watching on YouTube, if you can tell us what this is, and then tell us the difference between this and that over there. That would be so totally awesome. On the back wall of the choir loft is this bit of tag art, which the building, as you might imagine, has a lot of tagging in it. But this is actually pretty cool. I'm not sure what it means, but from a purely artistic standpoint, I like it. I don't know what it means. Somebody tell me what it means. If you know what it means, leave a comment. admit that I'm a little sweaty I had to take my jacket off guys thanks for watching I appreciate it my this is my main YouTube channel page youtube.com slash Irv TV I also have a personal YouTube page called random Irv look it up it doesn't have its own URL yet um, uh, on Facebook I'm uh, Irv Lindsay on Instagram I'm Irv TV and on Twitter I'm Irv Lindsay look me up uh, enjoy the rest of your week thanks for watching uh, keep fighting a good fight and hey I'll see you in the next video